Today I'm going to show you how to run in your ceiling fan by a solar panel without using any inverter. I bought this 220 volt fan for about 16 bucks and I want to make some modification on it to make it working with low voltage. First I remove the screws and open it up. As you can see here we have two winding coils, running coil and the starting coil. I found the running coil consists of 430 turns and the starting coil consists of 380 turns. After removing the old coils, I have to rewind in them using 0.4 mm wire to make the fan working with low voltage. But how many turns number we need? It depends on the voltage of your solar panel. The output voltage of this one here is 38 volt when no load connected to it but it dropped to 31 volt at maximum power. However, I decided to take 24 volt in my calculation because of two reasons. First, I can adjust the voltage going to the fan by duty cycle adjustment. The second reason because I plan to run in this fan by 24 volt battery in the future. So 430 tours make the fan working with 220 volt. How many tours number make it work with 24 volt? By a simple calculation, we got 47 turns. The same calculation for the starting winding give us 42 turns, so I start to wind in them. If you turns the first one in this direction, the second one must be in opposite direction, and so on. When I done winding the starting coil, it's time to wind in the running coil. As I said before, if you turns the first one in this direction, the second one must be in opposite direction, and so on. When I done with winding process, I have to use my multimeter to make sure there is no short circuit between the wires and the metal body of the stator. Put it back inside the rotor and tighten the screws. So now we have four wires, two wires for starting coil and two wires for running coil. You have to connect the running coil directly to the supply voltage. The starting coil, however, must be connected to the supply voltage through a capacitor. To find out the proper value of this capacitor, I'm using this online calculator. I insert the power, which is 80 watt, the efficiency, let's say 90%, voltage 24 volt, and the frequency 50 hertz. The result is 250 microfarad. So I bought this capacitor for 3 bucks only. I connect them together as shown here. Now it's time to test. As a first test, I connect this fan without a blaze to this variable AC power supply. Then I start to increase the voltage slowly. As you can see here, it works just fine even with very low voltage. I can also run in this fan by 24 volt battery using this simple circuit that converts DC to AC without changing the voltage. And finally, I'm running my ceiling fan using a solar panel. The power consumption of this fan is 80 watt, so the solar panel must be at least around 100 watt. However, I'm using here a 270 watt solar panel. It doesn't matter because the fan just takes the power that need and leave the excessive. I'm using this regulator here because the supply voltage of the gate driver IC must be less than 25 volts, but the voltage that coming from my solar panel is more than 30 volts. The output waveform of this circuit is sequer wave. You can use this one with pure sine wave. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.